let me ask you something. What if a human being tells you that he or she will burn you alive if you don't serve God? What would you do? Give me a second, please. You would try to serve God, correct? Why would you try to serve God? You would serve God because your life is threatened by a human being. If you would serve God when a human being threatens your life, why not serve God now? Is it because you can't see God and you are a lot more relaxed? In both situations, it is difficult to serve God, correct? Yet, you would be a lot more motivated to serve God when that human being threatens you. What am I trying to say? Serving God is very difficult. I understand this. You really have no choice. If you don't serve God, then die in sin, you will go to hell. It does not matter if serving God is difficult. Going to hell will be a lot more difficult, correct? Many people make serving God more difficult for themselves because they continue to do things that hurts them in the end. You have to stay away from sinful friends, television shows, movies, radio stations, websites, relationships, acquaintances, etc. Stay away from anything occultist, horoscopes, zodiac signs, Ouija boards, good luck charms, dream catchers, tarot cards, rabbit's foot, tattoos, piercings, etc. All of these things and more will attract demons to you, making it more difficult for you to change your life, making it more difficult for you to give your life to God fully. How can you do things of the devil and try to serve God at the same time? It is not going to work. If you want to do things of God, cut out the things of the devil. If you want to do things of the devil, continue on doing... Okay. Things of the devil. You can't do things of the devil in God and believe that you are going to stay loyal to God. It is impossible. It is a foolish notion. You can you continue to fall back into sin because you are sabotaging your spiritual life. In order to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you will need the ingredients. In order for you to continue to fall into sin, you need the ingredients. What are the ingredients? All of the sinful things that I stated earlier. The sinful things that you need to avoid. I really hope this makes sense. So Romans 12 and 2 and Psalms 51 and 10. So I really hope all of this makes sense. God bless. Okay.